Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to some more gameplay of Tales of Berseria. So the last episode had a very sad theme. We found the grave of Velvet's sister and her unborn child. So that like pulled on the heartstrings quite a bit. And then Laffy just seems seriously ill as well. Um, and he wants to be more useful and go out adventuring, but sadly he can't because he's too sick. So anyway, let's continue cooking this meal for Laffy. Hopefully this will uh, help him recover, fingers crossed. Where do I need to go? Oh, over here, begin cooking. Now get back to bed and rest. With a nice full belly of lovely food. Good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Oh, great. Oh, great. That means something's gonna happen then. Um... Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Oh, if Laffy gets killed, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna lose my shit, seriously. This boy has grown on me so much in this short period of time. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Laffy? Oh no. Oh no. Maybe that's the reason he wanted to sleep next to Velvet, because he knew he was going to sneak out in the morning. Little... Where have you gone? Time to search for Laffy. You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Right, guys, I haven't forgotten about changing the voice so that it only comes out of the TV and not the DualShock 4. However, I do not have the option to do that without starting a new game at the moment. So hopefully more options open up when we play more into the game. But sadly, I can't change that right now. So hopefully it doesn't sound too bad on, uh, you know, on the microphone, picking that up since it is coming out of the DualShock 4. It's not that often though, so it should be okay, really. I reckon he's gonna be by the giant hole. The portal to the underworld, <laughs> apparently. Maybe I can speak to some villagers and they will tell me if they've seen Laffy. Laffy's a boy. Boys do these things. It's just expected. Okay, don't worry. It's just because he's a boy. Blame the silliness on being a boy. <laughs> no, by the way. <laughs> little girls are just as capable of being silly as much as little boys are. And anyone is capable of being silly, no matter what their age. I mean, just look at me. <laughs> oh, hello. There's hey, that insensitive shop owner again. Here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Is he hiding something? Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. 
Okay. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? He's skilled for a small boy. Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. Hmm. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. <laughs> not good so, at haggling. What did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Merchant confidentiality agreement. <laughs> Velvet. What I, I sell is between me around. and the is buyer, he okay? okay? <laughs> He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I I'll knew it. Look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. He's gonna be by the giant chasm. Oh, there's some people to talk to in town, so I'll do that first. I know. He might have gone to the cape to pick flowers. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Oh, great. Oh, great. Animals sense danger before humans. You are in the village, Nico. You're in the village right now. <laughs> hmm. Fair point, I guess. My god, look how hairy this bull is. Dude, you need a trim. I would like to just plait all of its fur and see how awesome it would look. Mohahaha. <laughs> the bull platter strikes again. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. Oh, great. Sure because that isn't ominous, it. is it? Luffy said taught me just a few minutes ago. <laughs> you saw Luffy? Where'd he, he go? taught him all that Actually, in a few minutes. I don't know. Sorry. Aww. I know where he is. I just want to go around and talk to everyone first. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Aww. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. Well, that's the thing. You're being selfish though, Velvet. If he recovers, he's got to grow up sometime, and he has a right to expand his horizons. Even if that includes moving away from you. Right, let's go and head to the giant hole. Let's go get us some hole, guys. <laughs> that was meant to sound wrong. Oh, hello. <gasps> there Wolfie. he is! Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. 
I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Lofi said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Hmm. Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? Oh, I come am. on, he needs this. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. <laughs> And then there'll yes, be no escape. You'll be forced to recover. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick Princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. Oh. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course Didn't I did. Didn't want to lose another sibling. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. Mm. That's probably true. But mm. I'd still miss you like you no. wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, and sis. And Laffy had a tone in his voice when he said he's quite were, the guy. A lone pair of Princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Oh, right. that's lovely. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Laffy. Yeah, me too, sis. They are a really good choice of flower, then. Right, here goes! Is that all? How about I make you some apple boo when we get apple home, Apple boo? <laughs> apple what? boo? What the hell is that? that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Oh, you're making it Eating sound it nice, Velvet. Feel better. I want it. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to Doesn't do the same thing. Doesn't even sound similar. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Haha, <laughs> spoke too soon. <laughs> Laffy, that's what you get for being cocky. Oh, hang on. Okay, never mind. Right, I will have a snoof, sneaky save here. Oh, hang on a second, wasn't supposed to do that. This is such a lovely place though. I'd just sit under that tree and just relax. look at all these. <sighs> this place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. 
And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Mm. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. Why is he holding his arm like that? But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh... What? <gasps> A demon! Oh, shoot! Werewolf! Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! No choice! Go! You're gonna have to fight it? Why oh, it damn. You? Ah, I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way! Or that thing will kill you too! But please! Go! I can't even do any damage! You need to run, Luffy, now! Well, I've got it distracted even if I get killed. I will sacrifice myself for you, brother! It's... It's just like Arthur said. I have to do this! <gasps> oh, that slap, though! Stop! Oh, no! Lappy, you needed to run! You can't fight it. You're too small. Not unless some kind of... Velvet. Oh, he bought the comb. Seriously, you better not die. Is this what? Oh my god! Arthur! I still don't trust you, but I'm glad you showed up when you did. <laughs> how... how did I get home? Velvet! Luffy! Luffy! You're alright! Ah, sorry. It's all my fault. No. If you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. No, oh, he's too lovely. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. <gasps> the Scarlet Knight? Oh. What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No. No, it wasn't! He did actually give Velvet the comb. Got Lafacette's comb, okay. Oh, great! It's a another werewolf! <laughs> Loads of them? The villages. Fluffy, where are you? I wonder if I can actually fight them. I kind of 
What's that blue icon in the middle? Mm. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not risking it. <laughs> Just in case I deal no damage what on again. Earth is going on. This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. Oh my God, the villagers! Battle tutorial. If it looks like you're going to lose, you can always try to run away. There we go. I'm guessing they are too high level or something. No, the village. The village is fucked. definitely save it and I think now would be a good time to stop this episode guys actually so yes um shit has just got real I'll have to roll from this fight this isn't a fight I can win I hope Laffy I hasn't become a demon can't go this way Oh, anyway guys, I am going to stop this one here. So if you do want to see this series continue on my channel, then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button with a like and of course comment on the video. Let me know your thoughts and impressions about this episode. As always guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share and of course subscribe. Click on the bell to turn on notifications for my channel as well so that you don't miss future content with streams and video uploads. As always, take it easy and I shall see you next time, guys.